All right, everyone, welcome back to part two on the Operations Pro setup for the Delta Pines subdivision. If you haven't had a chance to catch part one, I highly suggest it because that is basically getting Operations Pro set up within the settings of JMRI. So this time, like I said from the last video, we're going to go a little out of order because the next section that Operations Pro wants you to set up is your locations. We're actually going to go ahead and set up some of the cars first. So, first thing we're going to want to do, and you've already seen that I got Panel Pro open, is we're going to click on Operations at the top, and we're going to click on Cars. And so now this is our screen for the cars, and you can see we don't have anything in there. So we're going to go ahead and add some cars. So, the first thing we're going to do is hit Add. All right. So I'm going to pull up, <clears throat> while i got this add car window up, I'm going to kind of show you some of the different type of cars that we're going to do. So the first car we're going to do is a box car. Now, pull, you know, showing right now we have a 40-foot box car with a single door. Now you can see we have a 40-foot box car with double doors. Here's an example of a 50-foot box car with a single door. A 50-foot box car with double doors and here's another 50-foot box car with a double door but it's the doors are two different types uh, which we call a, a combination double door box car but within JMRI we're still going to classify it as a double door all right so let's go ahead and go back to our first box car and it's this Rock Island here and so, <clears throat> I'm not going to have the picture up as we're inputting data, but I just want you to look at this picture and just e examine a few things. You know, we've got the reporting marks of RI, the number being 148817. There is a new date on there, and it's probably a little blurry. So, but I'm thinking that is 8 of 48, which definitely fits within our era. And so sometimes you'll see even where it says XM, which is the AAR type. Some of my boxcars actually have XM on it. Some of them have XAR. XAR being for automobiles. Um, some will have BX, which is for express uh, baggage um, or an express boxcar. So that's just, you know, some of the different AAR codes. You could even have, you know, well, we'll get into it a little bit later. So let's let's go ahead and get this first car set up. So like I mentioned, I said this is our first car is a Rock Island. So we're just going to scroll down until we can find RI. And there it is. And the road number being 148817. So only one car on your layout should have a combination of these letters and these numbers okay that's basically like the car's license plate it's there's only one all right the type i told you box cars are going to be xm now one of the things that i want to do is since we're doing custom loads and custom schedules um the xm single door box cars sometimes would carry things that a double door would not carry so in this instance, I want to go and do edit. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to add an XM-40SD. dash SD stands for single door. If uh, like the second box car that I showed you earlier being a double door, I would do 40DD. But we're just going to go ahead and add that to our list. Do Add the new car type to service. Uh, we could hit yes and yes, and we can save all of these. All right. Now we should be able to go down and choose our XM40 single door. Okay. Um, we don't need to worry about checking any of these passenger caboose. Uh, FRED, which stands for flashing rear end device, utility, or hazardous. We don't need to worry about that. 
length this is a 40 foot box car location and track we're not going to worry about setting up right now because when we add the cars to the system right now we're just adding them to the database we can always go back and add where they're at later <clears throat> all right color this is the brown box car loads so this is where you can see we've got empty and loaded e and l uh, for this this is where you can start adding some custom loads like maybe pallets this is where you're going to need to know um, your industries what all do they receive what all do they ship grains another example we can add to it we've got furniture we can add that we can also add um, pet noose that's uh, my gamer in thrones receives pet noose and kaolin so speaking of k-a-o-l-i-n that's what makes porcelain so and i'm just going to add a few of these in there uh, <clears throat> so that way um, you know as we add industries we can add more of these later but i'm just go ahead and add a few um, something else you can do is depending on the type of goods that you put in there you can mark these low type or the priorities as high or low um, you can even add optional pickups and set out messages as well uh, for an XM40 single door we're not going to really worry about it so I'm just going to go ahead and hit save on that and we'll leave the load as empty for now kernel this would be good like if you've got like a cut of cars that's going to be for like a unit train like intermodal or coal you can create a kernel and so that way JMRI will not break those cars up um, all of them will go from point A to point B alright the build date and like I said I've got another one right here we want to make sure that we get this in there right and earlier I told you I thought it said 4 of 48. I was actually wrong. Um, I grabbed one of its sister cars, and it's actually 2 of 45. But that is still completely fine to fit in our era. Owner. So this would be good for people that are running like a club style layout, or you know you might have multiple friends going in together on a single layout to do operations. Um, this is where you can add all your different owners in there. So I'm just going to put my name, Jason, and add that. And now I can select that I am the owner. Comment, this is where you could put special things on there. Like if it's a cotton belt box car and it's got the Blue Streak Fast Freight you know, logo on it. I could put Blue Streak Fast Freight on it. Or like the Rock Island, Route of the Rockets. I've got another Rock Island that's the 100 year anniversary. So you can put little cool identifiers on there. Um, um, this one, I mean, it says Route of the Rockets. It's got the regular Rock Island Herald on it. I'm not really going to add that in the comments. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Add Car. Now if you notice that it did pop up in our list up here. And I typically like to have this window... Um, over here on the side <clears throat> like that so that way when I'm doing any type of modifications I can still see my list of cars here all right so we could go ahead and hit save it's going to close this window out or we could go ahead and go on to the next car so I'm going to let you um, look at this one for a little bit this is another box car but this one is a 50 foot double door so and this one's a southern pacific so we're going to go ahead and change our ri to sp and we're going to go ahead and add in the car number which happens to be 69235 now this one is a 50 double door so 50 double door that means we need to edit we're going to add xm dash 50 dd and we'll add it 
and I'm just going to hit don't show again. Um, we can always add that, you know, get that back in there later, but uh, just for this video's sake, taking it out. All right, so XM 50 double door. Now, the reason why I did this, well, let's put you to 50. Cool thing is, is uh, Jeremiah tells you how many ounces that car should weigh. So that's pretty cool. Color, we'll leave it as brown. Load. Now see, this is where you can change things up. Um, because maybe we don't want a 50 double door doing grain like a 40 single door. So we can go and add some of the same uh, things in there. So that way, you know, certain industries can receive multiple type of cars or box cars. But we just want to make sure that this box car doesn't go to specific type of industries. So for now, I'm going to leave the, the custom loads alone. No kernel. Um, let's go ahead and get this in as built. All right, so it's got a built date of 11.28. So we're going to add 11.28 on this. And there's no special marking, so I'm just going to go ahead and hit add car. So now you can see that we have a Southern Pacific XM50 double door. All right, next type of car that we're going to do, we're only going to do a few of these because I just want to explain the different type of cars. Uh, let's see. Next one is a tanker. And this is the Navy Gas and Supply Company. So this one we might add on to that comment. All right, so first thing we are going to want to do is we need to make sure and see if we had the reporting marks of CTTX because that's what's on this car. And it looks like we do, CTTX. How about that? And this car number is 8510. So we'll add 8510. Um, this is going to be a TM. Now they did go ahead and put gas and caro and oil I'm just gonna do TM all right um, now this one is going to be hazardous so we need to make sure that we got hazardous checked um, and then let's see our length this is a 40 foot and see it brought down the ounces back down the main color of this car is white well, let's see the load. We'll go ahead and add some loads in there. All right, first one is going to be LPG. So let's add liquid petroleum gas. And let's see diesel fuel. Or we'll just say diesel. And gasoline. And add. All right. Optional load pickup car message <clears throat> must have four buffer cars from locomotive. All right, set out, not worried about it. Okay, so now you can see that we got our different loads in there. And we're just going to leave that L alone because I have learned in the past that if we try to change that L, it really messes with things. So that's fine. We'll leave it in there. Not going to have it on a kernel. We have a build date on this one with 1 of 31. And it's in very small print, so you're not really going to be able to see it. But under the 8510, it says new 1-31. I'm the owner. Now on this one here... I'm going to go ahead and put the Navy Gas and Supply Company. Oops. Company. All right. And we're going to add that car. Now, if you notice up here, we've got our TM, and it's got the H in parentheses. That lets us know this is a hazmat car. All right. Next car. We have a covered hopper. So, and this one is a cotton belt. So 
So let's go and see if we can find SSW for St. Louis Southwestern. The car number is 77158. Covered hoppers are LO. I do not know exactly what LO stands for, but they use LO. All right, 40 foot color. This one is gray. And let's see, we're going to add a load of sand to this one. So let's add some sand. That would be a good load. <clears throat> Colonel, we'll leave alone. And it says new 1057. So this car here, I would probably do just a very light weathering on it. And we're going to want to make sure that's empty. Um, and add car. Oops, now one thing I've noticed that we forgot to do is uncheck hazardous. So now I'm going to click that. And we're going to have to save it, which ends up closing our box out. But we can always add it to add the next car. So now our LO doesn't have a hazardous tick on it. All right, the next car we have is a reefer. Now, some people don't know what is the difference between a reefer and a boxcar. Well, on an ice bunker reefer, which is mostly what I use for this era, if you look at the top, you've got an ice bunk reefer closest to you. There's four hatches uh, on you know each corner. And there's a regular boxcar behind it. There is no hatches in the roof. And that's so that way they could load ice into the roof because we all know uh, by science that cold air sinks. So that's why they put ice at the top so that way it will cause the air to go or the cold air to go down. So, <clears throat> all right, this is a Pacific Fruit Express or PFE. And we do have PFE in the list. And this car number is 7026. The type for reefers is going to be RS. Now there is a difference with RB, RA, RP, but the ones that we're using is RS. Um, I do not know, I can't remember exactly what the differences are, but there are slight differences. But we're just going to use RS. Now, in my instance, I have reefers doing two things. I've got reefers doing meats. I've got reefers doing produce. One of the problems I have ran into in the past is if I add loads of both produce, you know, a custom load of produce and meats, that sometimes JMRI will say that PFE or Pacific Fruit Express is carrying meats. And Wilson Car Lines, which is supposed to carry meats, is carrying produce. So in this instance, I want to go in here and do RS-Produce. Alright, and that way I can keep the produce and the meat separate. Don't have to worry about the check boxes. We got a 40-foot car. This one is orange in the main color load like i said we're going to add produce now one thing about produce is it's going to be a high priority because of that ice all right set out car message um <clears throat> yard classify to ice dock when loaded all right, so that's the only load set out car that I want in there. So let's save. All right, let's get our date put in here. And I am seeing that this one was built in 547. And I am the owner. And the comment that we're going to put on here is UP slash SP. Heralds and add the car. All right, so now we got our PFE car there. 
All right, so we are going to do one last car to wrap up this segment because I feel like it's already going on longer than it needs to be. And this one is going to be our Rock Island Caboose. <clears throat> so, our I uh, road number 18762. Now, the AAR code for caboose is actually NE. Why? I don't know. But it is. Alright, as far as the length of this car, it's not quite a 40 foot. It's a little shorter. So I'm thinking this one's going to be more of a 36. Um, I do have a scale ruler. I just don't have it on me at the moment so I might have to come back in here and change that but I'm thinking it looks more like a 36 most cabooses were 36 uh, type of caboose it doesn't matter if it's a cupola bay window extended vision doesn't matter all right color this caboose is a maroon and we don't see maroon there so we're gonna have to add that color Maroon, because that's what the Rock Island used was maroon. There we go. Load, we don't have to worry about. But we do want to make sure that we check this as a caboose at the top. All right, build date. My caboose does not have a build date on it. So it's a wooden caboose. Uh, maybe doing a little bit of research, I could find a build date for it. But I'm just going to go ahead and just put in... A date we'll just say 8 of 25 that's why not right and I want to make sure I take that comment out and we'll hit add car now we got a Rock Island caboose in there and we will hit save and we're going to go ahead and finish with the uh, adding the cars so I will go ahead and add a whole bunch more cars because I guarantee I've got about a hundred more that's got to be added to this system. And eventually what we'll end up doing next is we're going to do the locomotives because the locomotives get a little tougher. So other than that, um, stay tuned to part three, locomotives. Y'all have a great day and happy railroading.